her again another night in a row. or something and do something and uh, can I go back to sleep so here we are I give up um, I'm here to show you my new bike though uh, not new new to me you know um, I got it yesterday I'll show you and then I will describe it, the story but it's got the lights built in with the dynamo very cool. Uh, got it with a chain lock. Uh, the brake, this one sucks, but the pedal brake works. Um, it's got three gears. Um, I don't know, it does the job. I'll test the dynamo lights, but it's kind of in a pickle. Yeah, so I got it on Danish Craigslist. I ended up buying one instead of renting. Dumbo of use. DBA. Uh, if you rent, most options are going to run you about $200 US or like, uh, like $1,200 corn. Uh, Toll Honol. Intusen. Ella Intusen. Toll Honol. Wait, no, tol, tol, tol honol, illa, intuition of tol honol. Uh, oh, I went to a different bike shop. Wait, no, I didn't. Interesting. ABC bike rental. Let's talk about that in a bit. Um, yeah, anyway. 200 bucks. But I got mine for less than 100 with a lock. If you rent, then they'll give you a lock. Sometimes a helmet. I think, but, um, yeah, I got mine for 450 Kwana, which is, uh, I don't know, t divided by six and a half, 450, that's like 70 bucks, and then I got the lock for another 100, which is like 15 bucks, yeah, uh, good deal. The bike works fine. Again, the lock has an issue. Um, it's also, the seat is too tall for me. I haven't tried lowering it yet. I have the tool, fortunately. So I will do that tomorrow. Um, but it would be a little bit of a pain if I have to ride this and cannot just put my feet down um, and stop properly. Most bikes here they don't lock to anything. They, uh, just have, like, a ring lock on the back. And then it'll just, like, prevent it from moving. But you can still pick it up and walk off with it and take care of that later. Um, I'm doing that with a chain lock, so it's slightly better. But at least I have the option to lock to something. But I guess, uh, just bike thefts are so uncommon here. Crime is so uncommon, uh, you don't need to worry. Also, people ride cheap bikes to discourage that sometimes. Um, I don't know what else. It was cool buying something on DBA, but it's really annoying because the app does not work, uh, or the website, or the app. Just I can't hit the server on my mobile data. I think it's just too weak, so I have to do it on Wi-Fi. And so I couldn't respond to this guy for a while, and then, um, but I was supposed to meet him, and then, I could see his messages coming in as a notification, but I could not open the app and respond, um, but it worked out eventually. I was checking the tires, the, the tubes, I mean, um, and, uh, I accidentally, like, deflated the back one. I opened it up, like, took the cap off and it just deflated and I was very confused. But I guess it's because there was two parts to it. Um, it's a different type of valve. I think it's a woods valve. Um, but it's not the kind that we, one of the two that we have in the U.S. In the U.S. we have Preston Schrader, typically. Um, excuse me. 
suppressed is like the smaller one. Schrader is the one that's the same as cars, I believe. Um, I think pressed is a little more common. But both are pretty common. And you'll often see pumps with uh, both. Um, but here in the Netherlands, I believe, they have woods valves. I don't know. I'm going to stop using that word because I'm not sure if that's correct. But the way mine worked here was... Um, there's a little black cap, like usual, and then there's like a little metal ring keeping a like metal cylinder in, and if you take that little ring off, then the cylinder comes out and then it deflates, I think. Um, but, um, I guess you're just supposed to take the black off and then inflate it. Um, but I guess I took the ring off and then it deflated it. So I couldn't figure it out, and uh, so I was trying to um, inflate it, because like at bike shops, they always have pumps outside. Um, they're pressurized too, it's very nice. You just like stick it in and then hold down a little handle, a little lever, trigger thing, and a little squeeze, and uh, it'll inflate. Very cool. But I was having some trouble with it, and uh, so I went, I went in first to ask the guy if he had a pump. I tried asking in Danish, but I didn't know the word for pump, and so I think he got confused, because I just said pump in English. Um, so I switched to English. He's like, oh yeah, it's right where you locked your bike. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I went over, tried to do it, and kind of figured it out, and so I went back in, and I'm like, hey, I'm having some trouble. And then he's like, oh, you just, you just stick it in, uh, you know, and hold down the lever. And I'm like, oh, okay. But, like, I could not do it, and I guess because somehow I got the cylinder stuck in the pump. Ooh, I don't know how it got past the ring. Uh, but, like, it was, I don't know, it was just a mess. And then uh, I'm going, and he comes out. I, I think then I go one more time, and I'm like, I still cannot figure it out. I'm sorry. And then he's like... Oh, he comes up to check, realizes I don't have the cylinder in there. He's like, oh, you're not supposed to take that part off. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then, or he gives me the new piece, and then I'm still going. And then he comes out, um, because I'm still there. And he's like, dude, it's in, the, it's in the pump. And I'm like, oh, my God. And so he, he pulls that out, sticks it in, and then it works. Uh... Yeah, I, was, yeah, I you know I asked him how much it was because I wanted to like compensate him for his time. Um, he's like, just take it. So that was very nice of him. I appreciate that. I shot him out, but I don't know where that was. It's toward Fredericksburg, but there's so many bike shops. That's unhelpful. Also, nobody's gonna. It's not gonna help him at all. So it does not matter. <laughs> um, who knows? Maybe I'll go back. I appreciate what he did. I got my ID card yesterday also from University of Copenhagen. That was fine. Uh, I was able to do that in Danish. That was pretty cool. Um, I said, uh, Hi, can uh, hint ID uh, ID card? And he's like, yeah. Uh, and, and he gave it to me. Like oh, us uh, yeah, what did I say? Uh, I don't know. Could you help me in the edge room? He's like oh, uh, ompo. I'm like oh okay. Tuck. He's like do I say? Or he's like hango de. And I can never respond to that. I always blunder. But uh, I asked, said I was going to get my ID card. He gave it to me. I asked for help with the Wi-Fi. And, uh, and then he said, go above. And he said, have a good day. And the correct response to have a good day is, Idu mol, which is, you know, you too. But I can never remember them. I'm not used to saying it enough. Um, I don't know. I took the metro there, and then I took the metro to get the bike. Before then... Um, 
my, oh, I went to a bike shop to check out. I went to two shops. Oh, that reminds me. I went to two shops to check out the rentals, because I wanted to see what I'd be comparing it to. And those are nicer, you know. Um, but, okay, this one works pretty well. Um, I think, I don't know if they have baskets, I'm not sure. I have a rack on mine. So I definitely want to get panniers or a basket, I think. Um, it's got like the clamp thing. I don't know what it's called, but you know how the rack has the second rack layer and then that like folds in the back and can like clamp down like a spring. Um, I'm keeping the lock under that one I ride currently. But I don't know. Maybe that's just a secure basket. Probably. Seems like that'd be useful though if I'm going to the store. But I could also maybe just walk to the store. Depends how far I am. I haven't moved in or seen the apartment yet, so I haven't thought about that, but there's one shop that comes up online um, for rentals, and there's one that's right next to us, not next to my hostel, and I wanted to ask, do they do long-term rentals, do they do rentals for a month or something? Oh, I used some Danish there too, but then we switched to English because I was not good enough to keep it going, I just wanted to get it over. I don't want to waste his time. I asked how much for a rental, and then he's like, oh, do you mean how much money? Because I said, like, how many, I guess, thinking, like, how many dollars, but, um, they, uh, but, like, you'd say, like, how much uh, does it cost, is the correct way. And so he's like, oh, do you know how much this costs? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, 15 bucks a day. And I'm like, oh, okay. Do you do long-term rentals? And then he's like, uh, what do you mean? And I'm like, for several months. You know, like five months or something. And he's like, oh, no, you're better off just buying one online. Which is something I was considering. But I, it was right there, and so I figured I would check it and ask. However, I met up with several UC people, uh later and then like four of them are staying near me and then they got theirs at uh that place and i guess the thing was i did not say i was studying abroad and they did and that's why they got it for a semester um yeah it was like wait you got yours from that shop like the one right here and like yeah right around the corner and like Wait, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't do one for me. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I don't know. Yeah, and so after that, met up with UC people. That was about all I did yesterday. That was good, though. Uh, that was several hours. And got home and relaxed. I kind of want more time to just, like, sit and decompress and do nothing. It's like always the same, you know, <laughs> going out and like doing too much and then getting exhausted and then not having any time for just sitting and doing nothing or like crossing off tiny little to-do items. And it just stresses me out and my to-do list gets big and I should really just like take this next day and do that, probably, but I kind of suspect that will not happen. Maybe I'll get an hour or two, but I could do this a little more. So, oh, we were supposed to have a welcome dinner yesterday and an orientation today. That got cancelled, um, or not cancelled, postponed, moved to Monday and Tuesday next week is going to be, or it is, you know, early Friday morning right now. Um, but it was just, uh, remember that's getting moved. Um, because one of the people got COVID, the, uh, person leading it, so. Monday, Tuesday. Um, but Tuesday's when I move in. And uh, fortunately, the thing is late enough, it's at 5 now instead of being in the afternoon. 
so I'll have just enough time to get my key at like 3 o'clock or something, and then maybe move my stuff over from the hostel. Hopefully I have enough time to get bed sheets. that's really what I care about most. Um, otherwise, I don't know. Who knows, maybe I won't even need them. Maybe I won't even be sleeping. Like now. I kind of thought that like by now I'd be able to sleep through. Because it's interesting because I could sleep at midnight here for two hours consistently. But then it hits two something. And then I'm up for a few hours. Until I finally get out of bed, go walking, and come back. And it's like four or five. Um, anyway. Oh, that was a, probably at a bad angle on my phone. I hope you're not watching this for the visual too much. Um, I don't know. Hopefully I won't even have these that I walks too frequently anymore. I still expect it to happen occasionally because it just it does at home, but hopefully soon it's uh, fine. I'm adjusted. Um, but yeah, I want to find some secondhand stores and like scout out, yeah, scout out some places where I can get stuff that I'll need right away in the apartment, so then I can knock that out right away for the orientation. Uh, I don't really think I'll have time. I feel like I should plan some uh, trips though, because everyone else, like, I don't know, there's a lot of people who are like already having stuff planned. I don't know where I should go first. I'd ask, but no one's gonna watch this part of the video, and few are gonna watch the video at all, so. Let me know, I guess. Proof me wrong. Um. Well, I think I'm kind of running out of substantial topics. It's all just like, what is in the future, and that will be discussed later. We'll see if this part even makes it in to the video. Oh, but this part, this is cool. This is the architecture center that I mentioned two nights ago, I think. One night ago, maybe. I think it actually might have been one night ago. Yeah. Uh, this one. Very interesting. Would recommend. I think New Hound's, like, right over this way. It's pretty close. It's a small city. Keep forgetting that. I saw that yesterday, but uh, didn't get the the correct angle of the, the one row of houses that every picture in Denmark is of Copenhagen. I got it from the other angle, so I'll have to head back and see that again. Alright, I'm going to sign off.